Hey folks, Shane McLeod here, Fit at 40. Today we're gonna to talk about three big mistakes that people make when they first start working out, right after this. Hi right, folks, welcome back. So like I said, we're gonna be talking about three big mistakes, very common mistakes you see people make at the beginning of their fitness journey. So the first mistake I've made myself and see others making is working out too long and too much. When we first start working out, our body is not ready to handle the ton of stress we're gonna put on it, and we end up burning muscle and losing gains really quick. So what we need to do is uh, shorten our workout sessions to say 30 to 60 minutes in the beginning, say the first three to six months, um, you know, four to five times a week. Rest is really important. Uh, by doing this, our bodies will adapt to the workload we're putting on them, and this is really important for us guys, say, who are in our later 30s and 40s. Uh, we want to protect ourselves from unnecessary injury. And this is a really good way to injure ourselves, but also, if we can catch it in time, a good way to prevent injury. So number two, doing too many isolation movements. This makes it hard to put on muscle, believe it or not, because you're isolating muscle too much and shaping more than building. This can lead to injury and overworking specific muscles. I know being over 40, uh, I have caused myself a few injuries because of this. So you want the majority of your exercises to be compound movements, such as bench press, uh, bent over rows, squats, deadlifts, uh, military presses, that kind of stuff. And you want to be saving your isolation movements for last, uh, for more shaping, because it's those compound moves that are going to put on your mass and build muscle for you. Number three, copying somebody's routine exactly as they are doing it. Although it's a good way to get started, it's only going to help you, say, for about, you know, anywhere from two to three months. Then you're going to start to need to develop your own routine to address your weak points, your outcomes, and your goals. So change your routines to fit your goals, you know, and experiment a bit, but try not to program hop every few weeks or every month. Programs need to be practiced, I, th I believe, anywhere from eight to 12 weeks to achieve you know, uh, their basic outcomes and goals. So I hope this helped, and if so, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the like button. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have an idea for a future video. So until next time, stay fit, stay active, and be well, my friends.